What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mr. Leva, and this is my wife, Mrs. Leva, and this is as far away as it can be. We need to get closer because we need to be able to speak into it. And this is my wife, Mrs. Leva, like I said, and she's going to be joining us on the next couple episodes because I believe there's only four chapters. I've already done chapter one, so we've okay. got three more to go, and each episode is a chapter. So we're going to be joining me on the next three chapters and the last three chapters of The Last Door. So I'm going to fill you guys in and her in really quick on what happened. So we got a letter from a friend okay. who hung himself. Oh, we no. We went to his house, and we found his body. He was acting strange. His help left him. The last sane thing he did was send us that letter. Apparently, there's something in the past that we need to go to, so we're heading to the old oh. school, I do believe. And his wife died. All this? Nice and... Oh, okay, yeah. It's a point-and-click adventure scary game. Everything you have told me thus far makes me go. We just left here. The adventure continues in episode two. Okay, so I have to physically go to episode two. Previously on the last story. Oh, this is all new. Okay, so there are a lot of crosses on your wall, Father. I am the Father. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> Help me. Yeah. Clearly, home, homeboy's Catholic. Can I take you off the wall and carry you with me? Like demons. Be gone. <laughs> the kingdom come, they will be done. The earth as it is in heaven. Don't stop. Stop. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Give us each a day our daily bread. Oh, um, why? Okay. Bow, tickle, bow, 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 bow. <laughs> You thought this was a scary game. Forgive us for our I sins, mean it is. for we ourselves forgive I really our don't players. want to see an old man get down and dirty. <laughs> and lead us not into temptation. He is whipping himself. Quit deliver us from evil. <laughs> Amen! What MS Paint kind of font was that? <laughs> it Amen. feels so good! To break! <laughs> Amen! <laughs> I thought the homeboy was Catholic. But look, I've been in the Catholic Church a lot growing up. <laughs> we didn't do that. <laughs> but we did always that have... you know of. Right. I'm sure there are priests out there who have... Uh... Oh, I mean, they're Catholic. <laughs> I offended everyone that's Catholic that's ever going to see this episode. Now tell me, where are you? What do you see? I'm in the basement. I see some walls. There's Iron Man. There's Deadpool. There's Peter Queen. There's some book mates. I see a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm in the darkness. I see the darkness. Surrounded by some grayness. <laughs> and whiteness. <laughs> darkness, then grayness, then whiteness. That's not how Tabuscus's <laughs> thing goes. Oh, nope, still walking through the darkness. He's breathing heavily. Is he? <laughs> yes. I can't hear. Oh, I don't oh, have... what? Oh, ah! Who is it? Is it Anthony? Anthony. Anthony's the guy that hung himself. Oh. But we found him in his attic, not in the woods. <laughs> I'm not hearing any of this. It's all jazz. And she's the one that gets scared at things really easily, and I find it hilarious. But if you guys have watched any of my latest videos, you know that I also don't like spookiness sometimes. It makes me... Un but I'm silent when I get huh. scared. I. It is a baby crying. What is she doing? Why she is gets, there a baby crying? Get don't get close to, to the baby. The baby will kill you. Get close to Anna. No, she's going to kill the baby. I will karate chop you so hard! <laughs> See, when I play scary games, I'm like... Like, I get really silent. I get, like, focused. <gasps> you scream and shout and flare all about! I, on the other hand, do not so much. Maybe I do and I don't notice it. This is... When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. I played this. The guy counted backwards. He was ahead. He killed me. I don't like that! I'm breathing! That's a raven. Three! Now wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, the echo got really hard. You can nurse now, Mr. Devitt. That will be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I'm confident that is the best course of treatment for your symptoms. Now, do you ever see... Now, do you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? I struggled, I struggled to, find, to find the adequate words. It looked, it like... looked like an eye. It was like an eye, perfectly round and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifyingly pain-filled screams I've ever heard. Inside no, no, of complete for some darkness. reason, I feel like this guy would have, like, a raspiness to his voice. Yeah. I don't know why, but... Well, they are Britannian. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily yell raspy. Um, but <laughs> ravens, crows. Crows yes. played a very large part in the first okay. uh, chapter. 
Crows evil. and ravens are very smart. Well, so, crows, I mean, not ravens. Crows are crows. smart. Too. I, know, I know, but n- ravens weren't involved, just crows. Gotcha. An evil dweller, an evil dweller <laughs> deep below. <laughs> you need to learn. A forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. In my case, that fear has always, already awoken. I can understand why you are disturbed, Mr. Devitt. With your permission, I would like to consult on your a like to consult on your case with a colleague of mine. That's a weird way to word that. A man I've known for many years who is more versed in modern psychological practices. Or you just practices. need to learn how to English and well, how to read. But the way I would have said that was totally different. I was like, hey, I like to talk to my friend about this with you. But no, I was like, I would like to converse among my colleagues <laughs> with the use of the English language. I think it's knowledgeable. I think. <laughs> Fuck, read, Jasmine. I can't read. I'm darn. <laughs> I think his knowledge and experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. Do I just need to click? Yeah. Been staring at a computer screen for like eight hours today, Jonathan. <laughs> Horrible. I'll read this. You be the psychologist. Okay. The psychologist. The psychologist. Yeah, I am crazy, so I guess it would fit. You are knowledgeist. If you think it would help, dear. I leave it in <laughs> your hands. The agony grows increasingly unbearable, and if you believe this man can help, then I welcome his aid. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. I bid you good evening. I bid thee adieu. Yeah. Oh, it's raining. So sad. Man, hallelujah, it's raining, man. In your letter, you wrote that someone awaits me. A warning to ward me from a genuine danger or merely the raving of a brilliant-minded Adled by insanity? A brilliant mind. Adled. Adled? Adled. Adled. This is the way that... <laughs> I hate the English language so much. Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until I go back to the boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Yeah, I thought that's what you were doing, but you stopped to see a psychiatrist halfway through. Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beechworth. Rest now in peace. Yeah, Beechworth was the name of Anthony and his wife. Okay. Yeah, that was their last names. I'm not gonna lie, you kinda look like Doctor Who right there. This is what you did for the boarding school? This is how you got there? You just jumped around from fireplace to beds? <laughs> well, you know, fireplace to fireplace, bed to bed, Killing street corner to street corner, went. pastor to pastor. It's all the same. It was just a weird, it was a weird, like, travel sequence. It was like, no. staring out a window, and then sitting on the floor, and then next to a fireplace, then I'm sitting on the bed, and now I'm in a cart. Like, this whole game, even the first episode, I was, this game bugged the shit out of me, and it almost made me not want to play anymore. <laughs> Alright, so now we're actually in the game. A quite, an old, quite damaged mailbox. There's supposed to be commas there, like an old, quite damaged mailbox. Not an old, quite damaged mailbox. Like everything, like this game got such high praise for when it came out, but it irks the shit out of me. The English language, it's hard, I know. They use big words, but then they massacre the language. (laughs) An angel, the angel Gabriel, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. Yeah, because it's neglected and dirty now. Oh. The door is open. The door is open. Oh, I went to a religious school. Pardon. Excuse me, sister. Good evening, sister. Good evening. I'm Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr... So why do we call them sisters if they're mothers? Ha! Devitt, I'm a former student of this boarding school. Ah... You can see as, as you can see. Ha, Learn ha, to read. As you can Get see, Mr. Devitt, that's Devitt. his name, right? Yeah. Devitt. This stopped being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well being of the patients under our care. So it's like a hot a religious hospital. I see. Even so, may I please speak to Mr. Devitt? I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody but Mons- Monsignor? Something like Monsignor. that. Monsignor? 
Monsignor. That's how I wanted to pronounce it. It's Monsignor. It. Yeah, it's Monsignor. Monsignor, of course. Monsignor? Exactly. But you don't. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. Divot? Bitch, I tried. <laughs> like, I was just like, well, I'm here to see. L listen, shut the fuck up and answer my question. I'm trying! Listen! <laughs> I know people like that. It annoys the piss out of me. I know it does. It'd be uh, like, <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> Not really. Like, there are legitimate people that are like, explain to me why it's like this. I'm like, well, see, that what happened was, I don't want your excuses. <laughs> Swerve. Yes! <laughs> mm. I prefer not to talk about it. This place will help me remember. It'd be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. I guess that it would be a good idea to visit this place again and perceive the passage of time. Can you just said it the way you said it in the question? Perceive the passage of time. What are you talking about? Doing the dip, dip, when I dip, you dip, we dip. This place will help me remember. To be honest, I prefer not to talk. That's not what I chose! <laughs> to be honest, I prefer to not talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is. A lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Divot. I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. I appreciate your honesty of just not telling me why you're here. <laughs> why are you here? I don't want to talk about it. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Could I just said that in the beginning? Don't worry, mother. Thank you. I am a man. No. Okay. Oh yeah, we just, we always we always put our hat and top hat, my coat. All right. Ooh. A huge wooden crucifix watch, watch, watches the door. I can hear her writing. Wait, it sounds, sounds like the... Yeah. Who is you? Somebody is sick. Yeah. You're in the medical ward, like, legit, like, coughing. Yeah, and... yeah, 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 yeah. I, you don't have to explain to me the sounds unless you hear something that I would like. Oh, I think that's what... It, you, you're talking about a clock. I hear a clock. Yeah, I didn't hear the sound. I can assume. I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. Pay him no mind. He has been delirious for some days. I miss Mary Vinge. And this is my brother, Matthew. Juliet. <laughs> Why have you left me? Why don't you answer my letters? <laughs> my letters. You see, the poor man is still obsessed with his fiance. He won't accept that she left him months ago, my poor Matthew. I'm very sorry, Miss Vinge. I hope he recovers. I care neither way. Thank you. Look, I don't, I don't, what is this? Miss Mary said in her bonnet. Among the baggages, I can see a packet of letters bound by twine. I'd ask you not to touch my belongings, please. You're not aware who you're talking to. I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta distract her. Some bandages and some other medical equipment. Nothing of interest. You say that, but then the last time I was told there was nothing of interest there, that's actually what I need to click on again to yeah. take something once, and it annoyed me. It's like, don't tell me there's no reason to be here. And I have to be here. A picture of Saint Camillus de Lely. Patron saint of the sick, hospital and nurses. I've never heard of Saint Lely. This seems to have... Forsaken this place? Yeah. What is that? Flowers, vases. Where are you? Narnia. A magazine entitled Weird Tales. <laughs> all right. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Hello. Are you all right, madame? There was a rhythmic sound. Like a breathing. What do you mean? It was last night. I felt an increasing pressure on my temples. Something dry and rough like tree bark brushed against my leg. And I saw something on the wall. Like a... Growing shadow. I lit the lamp, and there was nothing. I'm sure it was just a nightmare, madame. Bruh, you've seen hauntings. Please help me! Please. Someone. Patey? Patey. I'm sorry you cannot be here. Is there somewhere I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after each and every one of our patients. He will provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray there, next to the statue of Our Lady. <laughs> okay. Is this one of those places where they're just like, you don't, don't need you medical attention? Don't you think she's beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Is this one of those places where they're just like, what's medical attention? Pray the evil away. like Pray away the cough. There are several crucifixes all together on the headboard of this bed. Why? 
please someone okay you're not gonna let me just speak to him you're gonna speak for the man that's begging for help and i'm just gonna be like okay the gloomy statue of the virgin mary makes this place even more mournful than it is if that is possible a picture of the virgin mary gazing at you supposedly a portrait of sympathy and compassion for you however she seems to look more like a pain and sorrow okay Let's, please help i can't i unlocked the door i went <laughs> through the door no. A locked wooden coffin badly finished. It seems that whoever made it was in a bit rushed to finish. What about the tree? An ancient blackthorn tree twisted by time and weather. I think this leads me back to the front of the house. Yeah, okay, let's go back through the back. <laughs> I remember that we used to keep we used to keep here some textbooks. Now there is a music box. Thank you for the music box. We used to keep here some textbooks. Dear brother, I've received your letter and I'll try to write you more frequently. I hope you are studying a lot and you feel comfortable here. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father is in bed with fever and I do not feel very well, but I am on medication but I don't believe in commas. Today is my birthday, and I am feeling blue. It is a quite boring Sunday at the village. Mum is going to cook a lemon cake like those grandma used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Right back soon. I'm looking forward to knowing how you are doing, what are you learning, how is Scotland, and so on. A big hug. I think about you a lot. Your dear sister, Potato Salad. Okay... January 15th, 1876. Father Ernest seemed unusually troubled today. Several times he paused abruptly in the middle of the lecture for no reason, even during his favorite class, theology. January 18th, 1876. Today, Father Ernest was very irritable. Irritable. <laughs> Collins made a comment and was expelled from, from class for it, and even Devitt was ad um, admonished? Yes. Just for reading a philosophy book. I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ear toward me. My father will be disappointed if I fail to get good marks. January 21st, 1876. By the way, Devitt was me. Yeah. Uh, if this wasn't a school anymore, why are there still all this stuff Yeah, around? why it's is weird. there still all these notes It's very around. disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled days and had a sit. January 22nd, 1876. Father Eugene taught our theology class today. Even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest... When we asked him what happened to Father Ernest, Father Eugene told us that he had taken ill. What worries me is that now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. February 20th, 1876. It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. We told we were told that he is still sick, but he is so ill that he... Ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging... Well, how do you know that a physician hasn't come to treat him? But I have taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps, as I must succeed in spite of those problems happening around us. February 23rd, 1876. It was announced this morning that the school is closed. None of us know why, and we cannot get a straight answer from the faculty. They each dodge the question, I'm starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. Their anxiety is palatable, though they try to hide it behind a calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I heard he's alone. he alone is to remain after we vacate the premises. There's a picture in the diary. This is the photo of our graduating class. I see myself, Father Ernest, and Anthony. I do not remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Hmm. Well, there's an odd sentence written on the board. In death there is hope, in death there is life. One must seek its true nature to understand the nothing. It looks like it has been here for years as the chalk has faded in some places. The books on the shelves are old and musty. Theology is the dominant subject. Is that all that was? Oops. Nope. Not, nope. Nope. Big nopes. Hard nopes. <laughs> okay, I think that's all we got from there was the diary, but nothing to pick up yet. Yeah, I mean, well, we have the music box. Music box. I don't know what to do with it yet, though. <laughs> No, I don't care. <laughs> Please come back. No! Like, I didn't even click on it! Okay, mm. thank you. Nope. <laughs> okay, music box is nothing to 
you guys. What about her? Wait, what about... who are you? I don't recognize you. Huh? There's a quiet, pale young boy. He is asleep. Okay. A quiet young... He's a quite pale boy. Photographs of, of people, most likely family and friends of the bed previous resident. Any notes? Any notes? There's a note. What's the note say? A magazine? No, okay, it's weird the tales. magazine. Yeah. What about her? Can you give the music box to her? Eventual <laughs> medical reports? Okay. <laughs> nope. Hmm. There's got to be a way to get her distracted. We've yeah. only traveled one area. We haven't gone through this door yet. We also haven't gone upstairs yet, so we'll head through here see if she can. Mr. Devitt, you're not allowed to get in there. Okay, my bad. All right. Um, a dusty old tapestry of the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus in her arms. Okay. Baby Jesus. I do not mean to intrude. <laughs> Good evening, sister. Sister? All this suffering, all these tears, all our prayers, unanswered. What do you mean, sister? All these years entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, Pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Maybe there is no Lord. I have the generic answer. Certainly, yes. But I don't ask for much. Just something to go on. A path to follow. I can't go on. Not like this. Excuse me, sir. She is going to jump. I was going to say, and she yeets! Like, out the window. On the upper shelf of the antique uh, cupboard, a well-worn Bible rosary beads gathered dust. Can you pick it up? No. No. It'll give me a hand. A syringe next to a flask labeled that reads morphine. Oh, baby, get that. An old mirror that hardly reflects. One of the humble beds where the nuns sleep. Beds where the nun sleeps. Through a big open window, dust cold wind freezes the room. A dusk cold wind freezes the room. Oh man. Gonna get sick, Granny. Granny says, Is this Jesus? Right. Well. A worn out favorite <coughs> tapestry of Jesus. <laughs> That's a bulky got, Jesus. Well, I mean, it's Jesus and then he's got like the glow. But do you see his, Oh, is that a, is that a glow? Because those look like his arms. Like over here? He's not like, swole! <laughs> no, look down like next to him. Are those supposed to be wings? Because they look like no. his arms. Okay, so that's his hand. <laughs> okay. That's his hand. So okay. Those. And then that's his shoulder. And then that yellow like, is like, you know, the, you've never like, really been in a Catholic church, but they always put like a golden halo behind all their uh, I was golden like, halo. This golden Jesus halo. Like, they always put, like, the halo behind. So what you're seeing is the halo and then a glow. Another tapestry, though, I remember from my school days, the student dormitory was here. <laughs> this tapestry is also, like, on the ground. Can I tear it down? Probably wouldn't get the smartest idea with it. <laughs> Probably not. They'd be like, the fuck are you doing? And I'd be like, I know, there's a room here. Oh, showers. Oh. This is like spooky. The showers. Old, rusty, and poorly maintained. Clearly. <laughs> Just a couple of gold towels. Uh, <laughs> it's musty in a here. Broken mirror why. is a protruding piece. Oh, give give me the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shake a bitch. Oh, I can use the glass to probably cut the tapestry. Tapestry here. Yep. The mirror chunk is sharp enough, but too weak to cut the tapestry. It might break. <laughs> okay. <sighs> it's tapestry. Maybe you should give the glass to the nun. <laughs> Knowing this game, you, you never know, because it is technically a horror game. <laughs> and she eats? <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. <sighs> Stamp. Shink. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know where else to go. I think I've clicked on everything, haven't I? I think so. I feel that way. Maybe try giving the music box to that nun. What's up here? The paintings hold a visage of judgment, but yet compassion. Just 
Damn. Hmm. All right. So we discovered a little bit of something, something here, Jazz. We didn't pick up this on the way in. Mm -hmm. A stone eagle lies on the floor. It appears to have been broken off of the fountain. Oh. We pick it up. And oh, then... we didn't walk. No, we did. I didn't know if there was something oh. to check in the mailbox. Remember how I clicked on it multiple times? Yeah. Now I can come back and get what was in the mailbox. Got you. My brother insists to have abandoned me, but I'm sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and I'll see you have your eyes. We got this address from the hospital in London, and I pray that it is reaching you safely. If that is the case, I want you to know that I'll always be waiting for you forever you are as Juliet Holloway. That's for the guy that's his fiance. Yeah, his fiance never left him. You know how many times I clicked on that mailbox? I clicked on it twice. Not once did it register that that was the thing I needed to do. I needed to go inside, talk to the guy, then come back out for the mailbox. What in the game would have made me think that? Yeah. And that's what upsets me about this game, is that it just assumes that eventually you'll come back out and click on everything. Like, I want to spend an hour doing this kind of crap. All right. Mr. Binge, I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it with me if you'd be so kind. As you can see, my brother's too weak to read it. Well, Matthew, let's see what is written for you. Oh, it's a letter from our mother. Dear Matthew, I hope that you are recovering. I wish that your beloved sister and you come back home soon. I know how alone mother feels since you left. Do you remember the good times we were all living together? Miss Visage is making up the letter's contents. Okay. Oh, I have to give it to him again. There you go. My, my letters, all the letters I, I wrote to dear Juliet, you never posted them, but why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> How could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refused to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. Your only interest is marrying someone out of your status, of our family statuses. status. It was for your sake I did this. I did to protect you from that woman's treachery. No, you only thought about yourself and your vanity. I can't bear to look at you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. For From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. You dare banish me, I who have stayed by your side all through your illness. Very well, Matthew, you will have your way. I will leave you, and then you will see how alone you are. Farewell, brother. Bitch. Thanks be to the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. Um, uh, thanks. This is my lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than it has myself. Okay. Now we have his coin. But we is not done here. Don't worry, sir. I'm coming to help you next. This is the way out the back door. This was not all. And we come, and we come on down this it's way. It's graveyard. It is a That's graveyard. not, you know. Deep. I mean, <clears throat> it's like a church area now with sick people, so. Okay, a piece of old fishing net. We take. Many years adrift to perfectly smooth this float sam into a small log. We take. What does he say? The small group of graves have been haphazardly arranged. Yes, yes it has, because you got this man digging it up. What do you have to say, old man? Good evening. I hope you're <laughs> right, and this turns out to be indeed a good evening. My name is Debit. I did not know there was a graveyard here. My pleasure, Mr. Debit. I am Frank Baldwin. Do not ask me why, but Monsignor specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Actually, it's why, I don't understand. Did he order to bury corpses here? Why? I do not understand. What is there to understand, Mr. Devitt? God has forsaken this place. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you to your work. Okay. That was kind of a rude leaving. A little right. bit. Like... Well, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt. Goodbye! All right. Uh, we don't need to be here. We need to now head this way. Okay, so now we've gotten stuff. We would walk and walk and walk and walk. I don't think you need to ask where are you anymore. 
right. <laughs> head upstairs. All right, so then we need to give you to you. Okay, do I talk to you again? Sister, please, I just want to be alone. I swear to God, that's what I was supposed to do. Lizzie. Maybe I do this. Oh. Now it plays music. What are the odds that that guy's lucky pendant, giving to her, played music on the music box, my inventory? Yeah. This game doesn't make sense. And it upsets me. It angers me. But it's part of the reason I play it. But I just want to know who was like, They'll know to give her yeah. the coin to play the music box. Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you. For you have given me the sign I was looking for. She, <laughs> as she, <laughs> she <laughs> weeple wobbles her way out. But who'd have thought that the lucky coin you get from Homeboy yeah. clicked on her would unlock the music box you just found in the building. And that's what upset me about this game. Okay, so now we need... I think this would be useless, but you're wrong. Because then I take... I, th I take something. Oh, we're not done here yet. Hold on, I need to come over to now. No, 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 no. This is where I need to be now. Because I think we take... Can you combine stuff in your inventory? Yeah, I'm supposed to like... Oh, what do we do here? I forget, hold on. My bad, so I click. A lot of dry leaves have accumulated in this old recipe pipe that's blocking the water stream. The holes are very large and rusty. I just tried to put my hand, it could cut myself. So if I take a stone, I blended the sharp edge of the pipe, now I need not fear being cut. There's nothing for me to impede the water stream. So I take a net. Then I should catch anything coming down the pipe. So now I come over here because somehow that fishing net to help on, I, I don't know what unclogging it does. Like because it's so open. Yeah. But apparently now that allows me to turn on this water. And turning on that water, it's like Oh, cool. I turned on that water. And that's all that happens, right? Then I come over here. And I go back. There's going to be something in that pipe for me. Like, I felt like they wanted to make a great puzzle game, but just didn't know how to put it all together right. Yeah. Because now I come over here. There's a net. Caught something shiny. Okay, give me it. I now have the shiny thing, right? It's called the teardrop. Okay. Yeah. And we head downstairs. During the stairs. And we head this way. Please. Please. Okay. So then I do this. Okay, so then from there, we take this glass, and he's going to reflect it. And she's, she's like, sees it, and she's like, <laughs> Oh, the, our mother is crying. Oh my lord, what does it mean? <laughs> Evacuate! Yeah. What have I done? What have we done? You take everything too too seriously. That's what you that's what you've done. But now like see it like leaves my inventory. Hmm. So the glass wasn't for cutting that tapestry at all. You, you must help me. Cough. What can I do? What's wrong with you? There's little time I'll tell you about my pain. I describe the unbearable and endless pain, yet they do not listen. They pass by me by without even looking at me. They say that they are praying for me, but it does not cure my ailment. But sir, I I know, but I beseech you. You will be saving me from horrible torture. I will be internally indebted to you. Well, however difficult this would be for me. I understand your request is terribly hard for me. I guess I could find the courage to help you. 
I understand the magnitude of what I'm asking. God bless you, sir. I don't know how I can show my gratitude. When I need you to, what I need you to do, without the nuns noticing, try to get the amount of morphine enough so that I can be embraced the deepest dreams and in their stop. Okay, so he needs me to kill him with all that morphine that's upstairs. Well, she's already gone. So or at least she it. should be. Yeah, so. so we can just take it. Wow. Huh. He mm-hmm. wants death. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's well, like not said, dark at all. Like, he's like, I'm sick as fuck. I hurt, and they're not helping me. They just ignore me and go, shut the fuck up. Pray. Uh, we'll pray for pray. you. Pray. Pray. Yeet. Well, she was praying, so I mean... For him, because the Mary Jesus Joseph started crying. She was just like, oh, God. <laughs> Literally. Stop asking, where are you? And he's gone before you even get the morphine used. There's a note on the bed. Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies, Baldwin lies. Baldwin lies. Baldwin was okay. the name of the guy he's that buried the... people. Yeah. And he's gone. Noises are coming from inside the coffin. Oh, God. Hmm? It looks like his toolbox. I wonder if there's anything useful in it. Let's talk to him. Tell me about Monsignor. I can not rightly say. After all these years, I've never seen the man. Who knows? Maybe he does not exist. I should let you get back to work. Have a nice evening. Can't just morphine the man. Is this not how I get at this thing? <laughs> how do I get him to give me the things? Okay, so we need to go up front and get the bibble from her. She gives us a bibble. Do you take care of the patients here? Mr. Baldwin. Talk to Monsignor. Did Monsignor already blah, blah, blah. Thanks, Mother. Have you been there to death lately? Hmm. No? Hmm. Okay, so we are watching a walkthrough, and he gets a Bible from her, but he talked to her before getting the morphine, I guess. And we didn't. So maybe we can't get the Bible till later. But we didn't click on the casket like he does. So we may have to click on the casket. Yeah. And see if we can open it. And we can't. The lid is nailed. So now we have to come over here. Then now I think we can talk to him about it. Maybe now you can talk to her, because now you've heard something on the co- now you've heard something in the coffin. Yeah, he says, "Please don't touch my tools." Okay, tell me about Mother Elizabeth. Tell me about this place. Tell me about Aberdeen. Now I can take his tools without him paying attention, and we can leave. So I don't know what the Bible's for, but we don't need it for this. And we'll take the crowbar like a thing. Pry it open. Who is it? The darkness of his eyes. His body is petrified. He has a look of sheer terror in his eyes. Oh my god, but what has happened? Talk, talk to me. Mm. Morphine. Now you can go... To her desk. Mm -hmm. Maybe now I can get the Bible, too. I'll take the key, thank you. William Needleton, November 13, 1891. Cause of death, Cax, cachlexia. No, scratch marks have been found in his in his stomach. Oh, that's weird. All right. 
Uh, Elmer Moore, November 17th, 1891, caused a death of polarizia. A clear expression of terror on the patient's paralyzed face was found at the time of death. Eveline Benzi, November 7th, 1991, caused a death of Osmo. We found the patient dead. Emaciated Anne Theodore Hayding, November 23rd, 1891, cause of death. Thyphoid fever. Notes the patient suffering severe hallucination was before death screaming and shook until the opiates started to take effect. Lena Osh now, November 27th, 1891, cause of death. Ostilaric teres tubal Notes. During the autopsy, we found some strange black marks on his fingers. Cloud Harris, December 18th, uh, December 10th, 1891. Cause of death unknown, Nora Dunstain. December 13th, 1891, cause of death, respiratory arrest. Notes blank. Ellen Blair, December 14th, 1891, cause of death, morphine overdose. Dose, patient committed suicide. Notes the patient did not seem to have depressive symptoms or suicidal tendencies. Alrighty then. It locked no more. Mm. Oh, we're young boys again. Um, don't look into his eyes. We're in totally different clothes now. Mm hmm. And we're young. Mm hmm. Because of the deepest darkness. I dwell in his eyes. Did we do it? Did we beat the chapter? Come in, my son. Do you think you could hide these books from me? They are just classic philosophy books, Father. Plato and Aristotle. Silence. Instruments of falsehood, you mean fa fallacies coming from the snake. Now, son, go on your knees and raise your arms. Apologize to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Malum in se. Can you... What is that? It is Latin. Malum in se. Evil in itself. What? That window cracked on itself. That window broke on itself. Oh, the window itself. broke? That's what it was? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That one didn't break. Okay. That one shattered his blood all over it. Eye of the... Beyond? Eye of the bird. That's a, gotcha. What does it mean? Oh, we already we, we were seeing um... an eye. Lord, your eyes burn me. I don't deserve mercy nor forgiveness. Oh, Lord, I have mercy Have mercy on my soul. Who are you sending me? Is death to whom you are hanging me over? Has my hourglass already run out of sand? Father Ernest? Ernest, oh, it's been many oh, years since I heard that name. Karate chop. Since? Oh, I see. Father, I'm here to be able to remember. You have to help me. I beg you. <clears throat> Please, on 3D's petition, praying, torment, exception. Exemption. Past times bring us misfortune and pain. Father Ernest, I was one of your students. One of my old students, you say. It's only the Lord who teaches us. We must all follow his ordinances and disciplines. Get closer, son. Come pray next to me. Don't do it! It's a tarp! Uh, I'll karate chop you! This makeshift altar is coated in a dense layer of wax. The candles having almost burnt out only barely illuminate the room. A creepy image of Christ crucified. And explicably, it has a dark cloth covering its head. <sighs> well, I thought that was his hair, like, drooping down. What, 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 what do you use the pipe for? The walls are completely covered with crosses. A mentally ill act. Huh. Can you do anything? Nope. No? Okay. He has a large burn covering his eyes. He is completely blind. Despite his decrepitude, extreme thinness, and paleness, I can still recognize Father Ernest. But he seems far away, like in another world. Glory to be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Now, my son, tell me the Lord which one is his voice. The sharp sword, the wise quill, or the delicate petal? The wise quill? Oh, crap. No, no, you were enveloped by sin. And now, my son, tell the Lord which is holy path and wise virtue and endless blame. And did the cross faith. just fall off the wall? We did. Uh, the wise virtue. 
No, no, no. Your soul lives embraced in a darkness. I don't think you can ever choose the right answer. <gasps> and I must come to the Lord. Who <clears throat> are you? The faceless pilgrim, the gate guard, or the lost seaman? The faceless pilgrim? No, no, no. There is no salvation in the Lord for your soul. Things are falling off the walls by themselves. I have to purify my soul. I know you're here. You didn't hear me? Get out of my room. Can I take him down? Despite being blind, he preserves good hearing. I must be more careful when moving. How do I be more careful when moving? Maybe you only move when he moves. An old razor blade stained with blood. Dear God in heaven, I feel for you. Your light is in my eyes. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself in you. Your eyes are in my soul. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I feel myself. I fear Hello? myself in you. The sword is in my hand. I will burn them for you. Dear God in heaven, I hate myself in you. My blame is in your heart. I will burn myself for you. Oh, I can't beat up. Is there anything else I can do? What about the razor blade? You can't pick up the razor blade covered in blood? Oh, yeah. Finish him off. I'm leaving anyway. Goodbye. Did I do everything I needed to do in there? All right. So then we need to combine this with that and make a cutting tool. Supposedly makes a cutting tool somehow. Like, somehow, like, shove the blade into it, I guess. Yeah. And then we leave. So we did get everything out of his room. Now we need to head back upstairs. And this will cut the tapestry. The tapestry. Tapestry, tapestry. I forgot. It's tapestry. Well, it's not tapped. All right. And it's not taped. <laughs> and now we enter. Ooh, we're young again. And finally, our expert on philosophy, Jeremiah Devitt, shows up. Where were you, my friend? We have been looking for you. Well, as I was saying, tonight is the perfect moment for our next meeting, but I suspect that someone outside our group is secretly surveying us. Who is it, Anthony? My dear friend, it's the Professor Glenn. Do you mean Father Ernest? Certainly, no doubt about it. Therefore, dear colleagues, I have decided to change the venue for tonight's meeting. Have you noticed the lounge behind the small door of the classroom, I believe... I believe convenient to borrow the key for our necessities. You already know at 12 o'clock you will find the door open and I'll be inside the lounge. That is it, my dearest colleagues. Right. I don't know what that means, but, uh, you It know. was basically what the, uh, it was what the note said, but it says, it's something about like keeping it completely secret or something yeah. like that. I remember that it is this furniture we used to keep some of our personal belongings. Now it's empty. Yeah. The walls are completely dis in complete disarray. I could barely punch. Th I could probably punch through if I tried. No, let's not do that. Yeah, I'm not, but I might have to. I remember that this was the bed where I used to sleep when I was a student here. Okay. A dusty, dusty mirror. mirror. Oh. Uh. Why? Oh. Okay. Mr. Rabbit was jumping through the forest in the warm spring afternoon. Hey, Mr. Rabbit! I don't want to know. Fucking karate there's, chop. There's a letter over here in blood. What does the letter say? When going through a brush, Mr. Rabbit sat into Mr. Wolf, ran into Mr. Wolf, Mr. Vulture, and Miss Snake, who were having a heated argument. I'm sorry. He sat. He sat. <laughs> he sat into Mr. Wolf. That's a completely different story. <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, curious, asked them, Dearest, why are you arguing this beautiful and cheerful spring afternoon? Gobble, gobble, gobble. He got eaten alive because he talked to three predators. Mr. Wolf answered politely, Why, we are trying to decide here who of us will have the pleasure to eat you up. Gobble, gobble, mother... <clears throat> <laughs> Mr. Rabbit, really scared, said, But I do not want to be eaten. I want to live. Yes. <laughs> you should have ran, son. 
To which Mr. Snake answered smiling, That is impossible to happen, Mr. Rabbit, since we all, both you and us, are going to die sooner or later, don't you think so? Who are you in the window? A karate- I will karate chop you. Why aren't you reading the notes? Oh, I didn't realize- I didn't see you <laughs> paying attention to, like, the bodies in the window. Mr. Vulture added, Mr. Snake is right. We should stick to the issue at hand. It is getting late, and as you see, we do not agree. Do you want to help us decide, Mr. Rabbit? Who would you suggest as to one to eat you? I don't like these bodies hanging in the After thinking about it for a while, Mr. Rabbit came up with an idea and carefully said, I got it. Why not? Why not to recognize a race? The first who arrives to the forest clearing. Why not to organize? Why did I say recognize? Why not to organize a race? <laughs> The first who arrives at the forest clearing will have the privilege of to eat me. No doubt Mr. Wolf can run at high speeds, but Mr. Vulture can go flying and avoid any obstacles. I am sure that Miss Snake knows all sh of the shortcuts in the forest. What do you think? I don't like these bodies that are hanging in the wood. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to karate chop it. Just, the three <laughs> predators agree that it was fair, so they started the race and they quickly disappeared. And Mr. Rabbit ran the other way. <coughs> Mr. Rabbit, happy to trick them, started running at high speeds in the opposite direction of the predators, who, eager, who, eager to prove their worth, didn't realize the trick. <coughs> what? I entered a door going that way, and now I'm going that way. Mr. Rabbit was far away from there, and he finally felt safe, happy and proud of his cunning, but suddenly there was a loud bang. The earth shook, frightened birds flew, and everything went dark. Ha! Good. Oh my god! An impossible love. <laughs> there is something I kept to myself for a long time. I will cry, Shabby. And the thing is that I love you. you. I have always loved you. Oh, she's dead. Since the first time I saw mm. you, since the first time I felt your frozen hands. Huh? Mm -hmm. Each time I move away from you, I miss your glassy, empty dead eyes. Oh my god, he's into... Yep, he loves the dead chick. Necrophilia? I miss your rough hair, is? your grayish skin, and your stench. Necrophilia? Yeah, is necrophilia, that what that... yeah. But your love just cannot be... <sighs> but our love just cannot be... I'm gonna karate chop you just because you're this disgusting. Is the... It is impossible. It is an impossible love. This is the man that buries people. Yeah, that's nice. I'm a karate chop the him right in the neck. And okay, we woke up. No, not again. I've how long have I been sleeping? What was that all about? In the nightmare, I found a place. A place in my memories. You fell asleep. In your yeah, bed. you're the one who laid down in the bed. Not again! I fell asleep by laying down in this, you know, at night in the dark in a bed. Who would have thought you fall asleep that way? Who falls asleep at night in a bed, Jaslyn? I, I do. Who does that? Not. Hmm, man. We have been recording this for almost an hour now. I know. We go this way to the doctory place. See, I didn't think that this would take so long, but the puzzles are so off the wall and random, it takes a while to figure out. That's why we use a walkthrough. We try to figure out some stuff on our own, but then we use a walkthrough. And then, of course, I'm going to cut this down, so it won't be an hour for you guys. Is this where I go next? Yes. Yeah. This is the room that I was like, man, there's literally nothing here. My disturbing nightmares brought me here. In this trapdoor, I saw my nightmare. From here sprouts a horrible stench. There's something down there. Corpses. Did you see? Did you see? It was there, just in front of me. That thing. It was screaming. Something's alive. He shakes uncontrollably. His body wrecked in pain and the only one way to end his suffering. Or suffering. This is the guy that wanted us to kill him. He ended up down here. He's gasping. He's dying. He's dead. He's Rest dead. in peace, Hope Slice. Okay, the, st the stretchers used to carry the corpses here. Who is behind all this? I think you know who's behind all this. We saw in our dream. Who's behind all this? 
That's it. You can't. You gotta. Uh, Do I head this way? I don't know. <laughs> Just like, I don't like it. This is um, only chapter two, Joe. Chapter one was much shorter. The walls are splattered with dried blood. Door. No, chapter one was much shorter. Ooh, hello. Oh, okay, another memory. Like, I love the story behind this, but the actual puzzle solving just hurts my soul. Punctual as always, Debit. Now all that remains is to introduce our guest. You may come in now, Professor. Father Ernest. Do not worry, my friend. I invited to join him to join us this evening. The Professor generally shares our curiosity, and who better to complete our group than one of the most renowned theologists? Moreover, we mustn't ban those who are willing to explore beyond the veil. The moment we have long awaited has now arrived. Please, all of you, take a seat and we shall begin the procedure. Soon shall the doors be opened, and then may we finally see what lies beyond. Now I ask you to close your eyes. Who will feel a momentary prick as I inject you with the serum? We were trying to see beyond the veil? Like, we were trying to see into... Like, I, were we doing, like, unholy things, and now this is why? Yeah, you um... Oh. Hello. Even after all these years, I have not forgotten your voice. You are the fourth witness. I remember. I remember now what happened. What is that we saw? The eye of the bird, Malam Inse. What happened to us? What is it that we witnessed? You must tell me. You must make me understand what my mind cannot fathom. It was our curiosity that damned us. We opened that which should not be opened. In doing so, we shortened the veil that separated our world from his. In seeking visions, we were ourselves seen by the eye of the bird. It remembers us. It looks for us. It calls us from its dark nest, from its abominable lair. All these years I have attempted to return to it, but I have no strength left. These poor, wretched creatures are too fragile. They lack the sight to return. Not one of them has, only us, the four witnesses. Who are the other two? Where are they? They, dis they disappeared as you did. I haven't heard from any of, the, any of you, but I was seized by curiosity. I absconded with my faith and deprived me of sanity. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned. Nothing remains. All that is left is surrendered, and surrendered to him. Gravely have we sinned, and now our only absolution is to burn. To burn in flames. Oh, he's burning himself alive. Malum. In. Say. Rip. He just ran in and attacks us. We're being buried in a coffin. Are we? Oh, man. No I'm shit. pretty sure that's what that sound just was. We're being buried alive? I... If you can hear it, we're being yeah, buried alive. Yeah, we're banging on something. Like. Yeah, we're being buried alive. There's a lot of knocking. How is there a chapter three and four if we got buried alive in chapter two? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Is there still stuff happening? Yeah. Oh. Like, it sounded kind of like oh. digging. Oh, yeah, Now yeah. it sounds like grasshoppers. I'm, I mean, I, I, I just didn't, see didn't that know. Fading in. Yeah, I just didn't know in the darkness. The adventures continue in episode three. Do they, though? Do they? The Last Door of Memories was funded by 450 Backers. It was published June 21st mm. of 2013. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us in this chapter of The Last Door. If you like to go ahead and hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon next to it, so that way you guys stay up to date with all the latest videos as soon as they come out. Link in the description below to my Twitter page, so that way you guys can catch up on more than just my YouTube stuff. <sighs> I'm, I'm like, I... Yeah, this I game's pretty know. nuts. I love the story, I love the lore, I love what's behind it, I, I love the even, horror. Like, I just don't like the now. puzzles. They're too off the wall and random. Like, it yeah. kind of makes no sense. Yeah. It's like, oh, if I clog up this pipe with a net and go turn on this random shower, I'll get a cure for make G Mary cry and that'll get me to the guy yeah. and then morphine will let me kill him <coughs> later like you don't even really need the morphine I feel like I could have just skipped him there yeah I don't know you don't need the bible you can pick up either yeah so but that's it for me guys bye